Hi my dear friends, today we will discuss the second part of our topic of uveal tract inflammation. I hope you will enjoy my presentation. Types of chronic uveitis. Chronic uveitis include anti-uveitis, uveitis in spondyloarthrosis, Fox uveitic syndrome, uveitis in juvenile idiopathic arthritis, uveitis in bowel disease, uveitis in renal disease, intermediate uveitis, Vogt Koenagi Harada syndrome, sympathetic of sarmitis, lens induced uveitis, cyclosis, Bixit disease, parasitic uveitis, viral uveitis, fungal uveitis, bacterial uveitis, and lastly, miscellaneous idiopathic chorioretinopathies. Anti-uveitis. Anti-uveitis is inflammation involving the anterior uveal tract, including the iris and the anterior part of the cellular body, which is called pars plicata. It is the commonest form of uveitis. Clinical picture of anterior uveitis including cellular injection, meiosis, hypopium, keratic precipitates, aqueous flare, which may contain fibrinous, exudate, iris and dules. Iris and dules, if they are at the papillary margin, they are called cobi nodules, like this, and if they in the stroma of the iris, they are called buzagan nodules. And lastly, the long term sequelae of anterior uveitis, which include cyanic and complicated cataract and glaucoma. Human leukocytic antigen typing in uveitis. Human leukocytic antigen typing is used as a diagnostic test in patients with uveitis. This table summarizes different human leukocytic antigen and different uh, diseases causing anti uveitis. For example, in Bixit syndrome, human leukocytic antigen is human leukocytic antigen B51. In Vogt Koenagi Harada syndrome, the human leukocytic engine is human leukocytic engine DR5. In sarcoidosis, human leukocytic engine B8 and B13. And in cases of retinal vasculitis, human leukocytic engine B44. Uveitis in spondyloarthrosis. Spondyloarthrosis are a group of disorders featuring human leukocytic engine B27 positivity. Both the family history is present of one or more of the following: ankylosing spondylitis, undifferentiated spondyloarthropathy, psoriatic arthritis, reactive arthritis, and spondyloarthropathies with inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Enclosing spondylitis. The main characteristic feature in enclosing spondylitis is inflammation, which is followed by calcification and finally ossification of ligaments and capsule of the joint, with resultant bony enclosures. It is more common in males, and 90% of cases are HLA P27 positive. Systemic features common to occur in the third to fourth decade with insidious onset. Spondyloarthritis is the main characteristic feature with progressive limitation of spinal movement. Eventually, the spine becomes fixed in flexion. In this photo, we can see a healthy spine, while in this photo shows that there is inflammation, ligament at the capsule of joints, followed by fusion and ossification, which is called bamboo spine. The second characteristic feature in enclosing spondylitis is Incisites, which is characterized by inflammation and pain in at the ligamentous attachment to bone. Radiology in these cases shows sacroiliac joint changes with characteristic 
just a articular osteoporosis like in this photo, followed by sclerosis and bony orbitation of the joint. Here we can show that there is osteoporosis in bone with a calcification of spinal ligaments and what is called bamboo spine. Ocular features in including with bondolitis include acute anterior veritis, scleritis, aviscleritis, keratitis, and finally mechanical torsus. Reactive arthritis or what is called writer syndrome. It is characterized by a triad of non-specific urethritis, conjunctivitis, and arthritis. It is also HLA B27 positive. The main presentation occur by malaise and fever and dysuria with arthritis and may be preceded by conjunctivitis. Also, it is characterized by oligoarthritis, spondyloarthritis, myococutaneous lesion, one of the important lesions in the active arthritis called keratoderma benenorragica, which is skin lesion assembling psoriasis involving bulbs and soles. And lastly, genital urinary involvement, including cervicitis, prostatitis, and epididymitis. In this photo, we can see the sites of Reiter's syndrome, which include eye inflammation in the form of uveitis, low back pain due to spondyloarthritis, scaly skin patches in the genitalia, and swelling in knee as in the form of arthritis. This photo show keratoderma benenorragica, which is cutaneous lesions in the bulb and soles assembling psoriasis. Psoriatic arthritis 40% of patients with psoriasis develop arthritis. Skin characterized by multiple types of psoriasis, mainly plague type. Also, there is nail changes. Also, there are nail changes with arthritis. Ocular features, mainly here, is acute anterior veitis in about 7% of cases, which conjunctivitis, marginal corneal infiltrates, and secondary Jogren syndrome may occur, but are uncommon. Fuchs uveitic syndrome. Fuchs heterochromic aeutocyclitis or cyclitis is a chronic non granulomatous condition diagnosed at an average of 40 years old. Clinically, it is characterized by acute anteriorvitis, mainly by faint flare and usually only mild cellular activity. The second feature is heterochromia aridis in the form of different iris color due to the affected iris show some sort of depigmentation which makes the iris color different in both eyes. The third feature is keratic precipitates which are grayish white stellate lesion diffusely present at the entire corneal endothelium. Fourth feature is iris atrophy as in this photo. We can notice that this gross iris atrophy can be diagnosed by retro illumination. In Fox uvitic syndrome, cataract and glaucoma are common and gonioscopy show fine radial angle vessels. Uveitis in juvenile idiopathic arthritis. This disease is by far the most common systemic disease associated with childhood anterior veitis. The prevalence is about 1 to 1,000 child. It is defined as arthritis of unknown etiology, begins in the childhood period and persists at least 6 weeks. Clinically, the first feature is arthritis, which may be oligoarticular, only affect few joints, one joint, polyarticular, multiple joints, thoracic arthritis, arthritis with psoriasis, and systemic, which is called Stills disease, which characterized by fever and rash, lymphadenopathy, hepatitis benignomegaly, which may precede arthritis. The ocular features of juvenile idiopathic arthritis is mainly characterized by uveitis, which is dangerous because it is invariably asymptomatic. Usual injection is absent, even in the presence of severe uveitis, so the presentation of the patient to physician is late. Inflammation is chronic and non-granulomatous, and usually the patient presented with complications like pseusaniki and band keratopathy. Here we can see that there is complicated cataract in this patient with band keratopathy. 
Uveitis in bowel disease Ulcerative colitis is an idiopathic chronic relapsing inflammatory disease involving the rectum and extend to all or some parts of large intestine. Characterized mainly by ulcerations which presented in the third decade with bloody diarrhea and lower abdominal pain, urgency and tenesmus. It can be associated with cutaneous lesion like abscess, ulceration, erythema nodosum and Bioderma gangrenosa. In this photo, we can see that there is healthy colon while this is a colon affected by ulcerative colitis. Other features include arthritis, hepatitis, thrombosis. Ocular features in ulcerative colitis include acute anterioviitis, conjunctivitis, ebiscularitis, and escleritis. Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is an idiopathic chronic collapsing disease. Characterized by multifocal full sickness granulomatous inflammation of the intestinal wall. Systemic features presentation is typically in the second to a third decade with abdominal pain and diarrhea with loss fever, vomiting, oral abscess ulceration, and B rectal abscess and fistula. Codinous lesions include enzyme nodosum, bioderma gangrenosum, anemia is common. Ocular features mainly by acute anterioviitis with dry eye conjunctivitis scleritis. Webel disease it is a rare chronic gastrointestinal inflammatory condition caused by infection with a bacteria called Trophremia webeli. Characterized by malabsorption, joint cardiac and central nervous system affection. Here in this photo shows the characteristic of Webel disease which include encephalopathy, lymphadenopathy, malabsorption and diarrhea and arthritis. Ocular features include uveitis, keratitis and uveitis Retritis, retinitis with retinal hemorrhage. Also, new sunlight manifestation is characteristic in this condition, which include GS palsy, nystagmus, salmoplegia, babyl edema, and optic atrophy. Uveitis in renal disease, as uveitis can occur in certain renal disease like tubular interstitial nephritis and uveitis and IgA nephropathy. Vogt Koenagi Harada syndrome. It is an idiopathic multi system autoimmune disease. Mainly affect melanocyte containing tissue by inflammation, like uvea, ear, and meninges. Vogt Koenagi Harada predominantly affects Hispanics, Japanese, and pigmented individuals. It can be divided into two types. Vogt Koenagi disease characterized mainly by skin changes and anterioviitis and the other disease which characterized by neurological features and exudative retinal detachments like this photo which shows skin disease it changes in the form of vitiligo. Clinical features it include four stages including prodromal stages which include meningitis and early encephalopathy and auditory manifestation with cranial nerve pulses. The second stage is called acute uveitic phase, which is characterized by bilateral granulomatous anterior and multifocal posterior uveitis, with diffuse choroidal infiltration and the characteristic dalin fox nodules, vitreitis, babylites, and oxidative retinal detachment. Third stage is called convalescent stage, which follows weeks later by localized alopecia, boliosis, and vitiligo. The fundus Show the characteristic feature or shape which is called sunset glow fundus. Depigmented limbal lesion which is called shigiura sign, like this. Chronic recurrent phase characterized by anterioviitis and exacerbations. Diagnostic criteria by American Uveitis Society for Vokto Kwanagi Harada. Because of the variation of the clinical presentation, American Uveitis Society made an a criteria for diagnosis of Rogdokoenagi Harada, including first, absence of any history of ocular trauma or surgery, the second, the presence of at least three of four signs, including chronic aidocyclitis, posterior uveitis, including positive fitting attachment, form of frost oxidative. Retinal detachment, disc hyperemia or edema, or cell set, glow fundus, 
The third is neurological sign of tinnitus, neck stiffness, cranial nerve pulses, and lastly, cutaneous finding including alopecia, polyosis, and vitiligo. Somatotic salmitis is a bilateral granulomatous pneumatitis, occurring after a penetrating including real tissue prolapse. This will elect an immune reaction against a melanin containing tissue in the other eye and induce uveal tract inflammation and uveitis. Histologically, the disease characterized by diffuse lymphocytic infiltration of the choroid and form what's called dallin for nodules, which also occur in both quinagi harada by formation of granulomas between proximembrane and the retinal pigment epithelium. This picture shows the diffuse lymphocytic infiltration of the choroid. Clinically, there is history of causative trauma, followed by, after a period of time, inflammation and irritation and uveitis in the other Eye. Also, uveitis will include the injured eye at the time of uveitis in the sympathizing eye, but the inflammation is asymmetric. Fundus show multifocal choroidal infiltrates in the mid periphery with sub retinal pigment exceeded infil infiltrates with bonding to talon fox nodules. There is exudative retinal attachment, vasculitis, optic disc, swelling. After inflammation subsides, there is residual coriotinal scarring and sunset glow fundus appearance, as in this photo, which should show peripheral oxidative retinal detachment. Lens induced uveitis. Lens induced uveitis, or called phacogenic or previously called phacoanaphylactic uveitis, it is a type of uveitis caused as an immune response to an uh, injured lens with exposed lens material to the immune system, occurring after incomplete cataract extraction, trauma, and rarely capsular degeneration, as in cases of faculitic changes in lens in cases of hypermetro cataract. Psychidosis Psychidosis is a, a chronic disorder of unknown cause manifested by non casating granulomatous inflammatory foci. It can affect any organ, but lungs and lymph node are the most commonly infected. Black more liable for disease than white persons. It is one of the most common systemic associations with uveitis. Systemic features including lung disease range from mild parenchymal infiltration to severe pulmonary fibrosis. A skin lesion characterized by a semenodosum and lobus perineum, which is induced valicious lesion involving exposed part of the Body such as nodes, cheeks, fingers, ears, together with granulomatous babules and micro. In this photo, we can see a sima nodosum in the leg, and here we can see lobus perineum in the nodes, cheeks of affected patient. Also, neurological disease is rare, but meningitis and kidney palsy may occur. Cardiac involvement is relatively uncommon, but if it okay, it is a critical affection. Lymphadenopathy, especially mediastinal lymph node, as in this form. Ocular features, including mutual fat kibis, like this photo, with granulomatous anterior viewites. Trabecular meshwork can show nodules and uh, peripheral anterior cyanike, vitritis with snowballs and strange spears, multiple chorioretinal peripheral lesions, psychoid nodules, with segmental uh, periphlebitis with candle wax uh, drippings, and retinal macro aneurysms in inflamed eye. Optic nerve can be affected with granuloma, like this photo, and conjunctival uh, nodule. We can see it is taken for follicular conjunctivitis. Also, lacrimal gland infiltration by cerebral material can occur. This photo show 
بفليبايتس and الأوبتيك نيرف ليجن افكشن Investigations which should be done for patient with sarcoidosis. Negative tuberculin test in case of a previously vaccinated patient with BCG. The second investigation is the angiotensin converting enzyme levels show elevated level of serum ECE and serum lysozymes. Chest X ray show high lymphadenopathy. If Chest X-ray is free. We can do chest CT uh, to uh, detect sarcoid nodule, as in case of this form. Basic disease. Basic disease is an idiopathic multisystem syndrome characterized by recurrent abscess and ulcers and genital ulceration and uveitis. Vasculitis is the key pathogenic component and main involves small, medium, and large veins and arteries. Typically affect patients from Turkey, Middle and Far East, which is the ancient Silk Road route, with lower prevalence in Europe and North America. It is strongly associated with human leukocytic antigen B51. Diagnostic criteria for basic disease require the features including recurrent to oral abscess ulceration, observed by physician or the patient with at least three episodes in uh, a year period, plus any two of the following recurrent genital ulceration, anterior or posterior uveitis on slit lamb, or retinovasculitis in fundoscopic examination, erythema nodosum like lesion, or skin, and the lastly, positive pathology test interpreted at 24 to 48 hours by the physician. Pathology test. Pathology test in as an attempt to produce a pathology reaction, which elected by a small stry needle is inserted into the, the skin of the forearm. Occurrence of a small red hump or a bastule at the site of needle insertion one to two days following pathology test constitutes a positive result, which means there is exaggerated immune reaction. In this photo, we can see pathology test which include using needle inserted into the skin and here we uh, make a mark, a rounded mark, uh, equal to a coin if there is a reaction in the form of a small red bump or bustule more than this area the test is considered positive other features include vascular lesions including aneurysms, pulmonary and coronary and venous thrombosis Arthritis. One of the characteristic skin features called dermatography, similar to pathology test, and indicated skin hypersensitivity reaction in the form of lines in the skin following stroking or scratching. And neurological manifestations such as meningoencephalitis of the brainstem, dural sinus thrombosis, and cerebral aneurysm. Ocular features including acute anteriorvitis, which is non goronitis and characterized by mobile hypobium, which is white in niche or in color. Vitritis may be severe with posterior segment involvement. Retinitis with characteristic transient superficial white infiltrates. Retinal vasculitis, including arthritis as well as filibitis, in contrast to pure involvement which occur in sarcoidosis. Here, in basic disease, there is arthritis and filibitis leading to sheathing very vascular hemorrhage and occlusion, like in this photo, with resultant cystoid macular edema and diffuse retinal edema. Also, optic disc can be affected with hyperemia and edema, and disc and retinal neovascularization in late stages. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy my presentation. Thank you.